So I've been asked this question a lot and it's how do I get my logo to drop like this? And how do I get icons to move on my screen like this? Well, I thought that I was going to have to show you this using Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. Turns out that you can do this in iMovie, which is awesome because that means that you can do this for free. If you're new here, my name's Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new tech tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. So if that's what you're looking to do, make sure that you hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. All right, let's get started with how to easily animate your graphics in iMovie. So step one is to create your icons. I recommend using Canva to do this. So I'm in Canva right now and I've just opened up a plain document. And now if I head over to the search bar, I can type in whatever icon I want. So for example, I would do, let's say email and I would type in the word icon as well. And then that's going to bring up all these different options that I can use. And what's great is when you click on them, for many, you're able to adjust the color so you can make these more on brand. So for example, I'm going to change those colors to my brand colors. And now I'm going to create another icon. Uh, what should we do? Let's say like a computer mouse. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to change that to my colors again. Okay, great, so, and I can resize this however I want. All right, so as you can see, we got two on-brand icons now. So I'm going to click download, and you are going to want to download these on a transparent background, so that is why if you do use Canva, you're going to want to be on the Canva for work plan. So I'm going to click download. Okay, great, and so because we downloaded these with a transparent background, that means that it will just be the icon, so there's no background color behind it. All right, so next we need to open up the program Keynote. So this is actually where we're going to be doing the animating, and then we're going to bring it into iMovie. So you want to click New Document, and then Wide, and just select the white one is easy, and click Choose. All right. So now what you want to do is delete whatever is on the screen. So I'm going to get rid of those boxes and start out with a plain screen. Awesome. So now we need to grab our icons and drag them in to this keynote document. So there's my email and there's my mouse. Okay, great. And then you can just resize by dragging in the corners. Okay, great. And then to animate them, you're going to love how simple this is. You click on the icon, and then you're going to go right up here where it says animate, and then you'll see build in. So that's what we want. You're going to click add an effect, and now you are going to see all these different ways that we can animate these icons coming on our screen. So for example, do you want it to blur? Do you want it to fade and scale like that so it's getting a bit bigger? Um, do you want it to flip? There are all sorts of animations that you can choose from. So I'm going to build that one in with a flip, and then let's say I wanted to add an effect here. So let me show you the effect that I used for my logo. All I did was bring it in here, and then I added in the drop. And you'll see under each animation that you can adjust a few settings as well. So just play around with that and then you can click preview to get it looking exactly how you want. All right, so let's say that I'm happy with these two. I'm just going to move them around a bit. Okay, great. Then I'm going to click build order. And as you can see, we have our flip first and then our drop. So that's what we want. Now what we're going to do is click format, and this is super important. We need to take out the background color. So you're going to change this to no fill. And it's going to go black and look weird like this. Um, okay, so don't worry about that. Now you're going to go file, export to, and then movie. And see down here where it says resolution? You're going to change that to custom and then Apple ProRes 
4444. Okay, hit next and then save this. Awesome. So now we need to open up iMovie and you're going to click create new movie. And now you want to drag in your video clip um, that you want to animate on top of. So I'm gonna grab this video of me here. Okay, great, so this is what I want to add the animations to. So I've dragged that in. Now I'm going to grab the icon animation. So as you can see, we have our movie file here. I'm just going to drag it and I'm going to place it on top of my other video file. And so now, if I hit play, It's going to add my animations on top like this. And there you go. So as you can see, it's super easy and you can move this around your video wherever you want. Um, you can also, like you know how it took a while for it to come on screen, you can just trim this clip so that it starts right away. And that's it. So that's really all that you need to do. And you can go crazy. You could add as many animations as you wanted to this document and just add them as separate clips throughout your video. And that's it. That's how you create animated graphics in iMovie. All right guys, that's it for this video. I was so excited when I realized that you could do this just using iMovie, so I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and hitting subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.